Shemuel Rishon, 1 Samuel, 25. And Shemuel died, and all Yashadael were gathered together and lamented him and buried him in his house at Ramah. And David arose and went down to the wilderness of Paran. And there was a man in Ma'an whose possessions were in Carmel. And the man was very great, and he had three thousand sheep and a thousand goats. And he was shearing at his sheep in Carmel. Now the name of the man was Neval, and the name of his woman, Avigali, rather, Avigail. And she was a woman of good understanding and of a beautiful countenance. But the man was curlish and evil in his doings, and he was of the house of Caleb. And David heard in the wilderness that Naval did shear at his sheep. And David sent out ten young men. And David said unto the young men, Get you up to Carmel, and go to Neval, and greet him in my name. And thus shall ye say to him that lives in prosperity, Peace be both to you, and peace be to your house, and peace be unto all that you have. And now I have heard that you have shearers. Now your shepherds which were with us, we hurt them not, neither was there aught missing unto them, all the while they were in Carmel. Asketh your young men, and they will show you. Wherefore, let the young men find favor in your eyes. For we come in a good day. Give, I pray you. Eth whatsoever comes to your hand unto your servants, and to your son, David. And when David's young men came, they spoke to Neval according to all those words in the name of David, and ceased. And Neval answered at David's servants and said, Who is David, and who is the son of Yishai? There be many servants nowadays that break away every man from his master. Shall I then take eth my bread, and eth my water, and eth my flesh, that I have killed for my shearers, and give it unto men, whom I know not whence they be? So David's young men turned their way, and went again, and came and told him all those sayings. And David said unto his men, Gird ye on every man eth his sword. And they girded on every man at his sword, and David also girded on at his sword. And there went up after David about four hundred men, and two hundred abode by the stuff. But one of the young men told Avigail, rather, Avigail, Neval's woman, saying, Behold, David sent messengers out of the wilderness to salute eth our master and he railed on them but the men were very good unto us and we were not hurt neither missed we anything as long as we were con conversant with them when we were in the fields they were a wall unto us both by night and day all the while we were with them keeping the sheep now therefore know and consider what you will do, for evil is determined against our master and against all his household, for he is such a son of Belial that a man cannot speak to him. Then Avi Gail made haste and took two hundred loaves and two skins of wine and five sheep ready dressed and five measures of parched grain, and a hundred clusters of raisins, and two hundred cakes of figs, and laid them on asses. And she said unto her servants, Go on before me. Behold, I come after you. 
but she told not her man, Naval. And it was so, as she rode on the ass, that she came down by the covert of the hill, and behold, David and his men came down against her, and she met them. Now David had said, Surely in vain have I guarded eth all that this fellow has in the wilderness, so that nothing was missed of all that pertained unto him. And he has requited me evil for good. So and more also do Elohim unto the enemies of David, if I leave of all that pertain to him by the morning light, any that pisseth against the wall. And when Avi Gail saw Eth David, she hasted and lighted off the ass, and fell before David on her face, and bowed herself to the ground, and fell at his feet, and said, Upon me, my lord, upon me, let this iniquity be, and let your handmaid, I pray you, speak in your audience, and hear eth the words of your handmaid. Let not my lord, I pray you, eth regard this man of Belialah, rather Belialah, even Naval, for as his name is, so is he. Naval is his name and folly is with him. But I, your handmaid, saw not at the young men of my Lord, whom you did send. Now therefore, my Lord, as Yahuwah lives, and as your soul lives, seeing Yahuwah has withheld you from coming to shed blood, and from avenging yourself with your own hand, now let your enemies, and they that seek evil to my Lord, be as Naval. And now, this blessing which your handmaid has brought unto my Lord, let it even be given unto the young men that follow my Lord. I pray you, forgive the transgression of your handmaid, for Yahuwah will certainly make my Lord a sure house, because my Lord fights the battles of Yahuwah, and evil has not been found in you all your days. Yet a man is risen to pursue you and to seek at your soul. But the soul of my Lord shall be bound in the bundle of life with eth Yahuwah Eloheka. And eth the souls of your enemies, them shall he sling out as out of the middle of a sling. And it shall come to pass when Yahuwah shall have done to my Lord according to eth all the good that he has spoken concerning you, and shall have appointed you ruler over Yashadael, that this shall be no grief unto you, nor offense of heart unto my Lord, either that you have shed blood causeless, or that my Lord has avenged himself. But when Yahuwah shall have dealt well with my Lord, then Remembereth your handmaid. And David said to Avigail, Blessed be Yahuwah Elohai of Yashara'el, which sent you this day to me. And blessed be your advice. And blessed be you, which have kept me this day from coming to shed blood, and from avenging myself with my own hand. For in very deed as Yahuwah Elohai of Yashara'el lives, which has kept me back from hurting you, except you had hasted and come to meet me, surely there had not been left unto Naval by the morning light any that pisseth against the wall. So David received of her hand eth that which she had brought him, and said unto her, Go up in peace to your house. See, I have hearkened to your voice, and have accepted your person. And Avigail came to Naval, and behold, he held a feast in his house, like the feast of a king. And Naval's heart was merry within him, for he was very drunken. Wherefore she told him nothing, less or more, 
until the morning light. But it came to pass in the morning, when the wine was gone out of Nabal, and his woman had told him eth these things, that his heart died within him, and he became as a stone. And it came to pass about ten days after, that Yahuwah smote eth Nabal, that he died. And when David heard that Nabal was dead, he said, Blessed be Yahuwah, Yahuwah, that has pleaded at the cause of my reproach from the hand of Naval, and has kept at his servant from evil. For Yahuwah has returned at the wickedness of Naval upon his own head. And David sent and communed with Avigail to take her to him to be his woman. And when the servants of David were come to Abigail, to Carmel, they spoke unto her, saying, David sent us unto you to take you to him, to be his woman. And she arose and bowed herself on her face to the earth and said, Behold, let your handmaid be a servant to wash the feet of the servants of my Lord. And Abigail hasted and arose and rode upon an ass with five damsels of hers that went after her. And she went after the messengers of David and became his woman. David also took Eth Achinoam of Yisrael, and they were also both of them his women. But Shaul had given Eth Michal his daughter, David's woman, to Palti, the son of Laish, which was of Galim.